Air transport, particularly the hub-and-spoke model that many airlines use for routing their passengers, has been a mainstay of geography education for decades. This pattern is centered on the major airport, where a single airline is often dominant. Low-cost carriers have impacted geography recently by increasing the number of people who are able to travel and by the focus on secondary airports, affecting land use nearby and traffic patterns in the entire metropolitan area that these airports serve. Less measurable, but equally important, is the impact that air travel has had on cultural geography. By the year 2012, one million people were airborne at any given time, somewhere in the world. During that same year, 2.4 billion passengers were logged by 725 airlines on over 33,000 flight routes. These statistics show that air travel has tied together the planet as never before. The Boeing 747, for example, nicknamed the Pacific Airliner because of its significance in drawing Asia closer to the rest of the world, had a longer range than its predecessors. This occurred in part because airlines in Asia and the Pacific were major customers of the Boeing 747. It has enabled the global tourism industry with subsequent development in corners of the planet previously inaccessible to all but local people. As a result, tourism geography has become a significant research strand in geography, examining the local to global impacts and changes in time and space of tourism. Air travel has enabled family and friends to keep in touch as never before. Many people commute by air between regions and even between countries. It has positively impacted the ability of universities to serve the international community. Air transport has enabled the always summer phenomenon in food. Many people throughout the world have access to summertime fruits and vegetables, no matter what season of year it is where they live. This practice has led to the identification of the enormous cost of fuel used in transporting and over-harvesting food. Air travel has enabled geographers to make field trips in hours to research sites that during the 19th century took weeks to reach. Air travel has endangered some cultures, but also raised global awareness of their plight, resulting in steps to preserve and protect them. For the general public, air travel has increased awareness and appreciation of the core themes of geography, cultural diversity, the importance of water resources, biodiversity, landforms and the physical beauty of the landscape, and the uniqueness of places. A person walking through an international airport terminal likely sees people from a greater diversity of cultures in 30 minutes than that person's grandparents did in his or her entire lifetime. Air travel has been revolutionary in geography, no doubt about it. It not only connects people and places as never before, but it also affects how people interact with, think about, view their place in, and study the world. So this is a chapter on air travel from the book Interpreting Our World, 100 Discoveries That Revolutionized Geography. And I hope from that reading you're able to see that, okay, air travel is one of the classic geography topics. It has positively and in some ways negatively impacted local regional, national, and international themes and situations. So this is just one example of the 100 discoveries that revolutionized geography, air travel. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.